Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, Mike the Muppet Modeler here and before we get started I'd like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers both new and existing um, the channel has now reached 633 so that is absolutely fantastic thank you all very much it's very much appreciated, your support um, kind comments on the videos and things, it's, it really makes it worth doing thank you very much and today we're going to do a little bit more oops let's get this set up hopefully and I think what we do is we get a bit of the turret interior the gun We'll get the gun done, I think. Um, this was uh, this is how the the upper hull looks now. Um, I've taken the the hatch out away, cut it in a little bit more, just give it a little bit of definition. I was going to cut the front, I was going to attempt to cut it up the front but it would have done too much damage inside so I need to fill that and touch that up a little bit redo a little bit of paintwork there other than that it's getting there I think, slowly slowly but surely we'll get there it's been a pain in the butt and I apologise for the length of time between videos it's not ideal I don't like it because um, once you get into it you're really into it and you keep going and you keep going and obviously the model comes together but as with the video a little while ago when you've been doing it or haven't been able to do it for a while you uh, you kind of lose a feel for it, lose a bit of the mojo if you like. So uh, yeah, not too not too pleased, but it's a nice nice day on and off today. The weather's not too bad, so uh, we'll crack on and get some bits done. I think. Let's take this hoodie off. Get the windows on. And let's start building. Like that. Right, now we want sprue L. Tell me I've lost it. Oh, I have lost it, but at least the spruce turned up. So there we go. Nine and fourteen. Should be these two bits. Now 
Yeah, uh, a little while ago, you probably heard me complaining about the fact of the cold, the weather, not being able to airbrush or anything. But uh, in the sun, in the summer, I've got the opposite problem. I've got the kids home from school and they play in the garden, in the pool, or in the paddling pool, or whatever. They make a hell of a lot of noise shouting, which you can't really have on a video. So, I can't win. Never mind. I'm in there now. Put some glue on the front and back. Sink. Goes together really nicely actually, there's hardly a seam to see, which is really nice. A little bit of glue put along the top there helps it blend out the seam. Do it over in a semi-circular motion so we don't get any flat spots that's all good L15 the table put little bits in the pot for the bin up a little bit a 
a little bit of glue on there just to give it another point of contact and L32 It's kind of a few little knobbly bits There's 32. It's 32, so that's that one. That's 17. Is that one? And we've got L2. You can see this being a fiddly bit. Or should I say a very fiddly bit? detail on there I don't know if any of you guys are into gaming as well. I like my PS5. And after about a year of not playing it, I'm back into playing No Man's Sky. Of which I uploaded a small video this morning. I found a nice little glitch, if you like it, in the game, which allows you to make loads of money and items. Which basically help, will help you survive, get to where you want to go, Help you where you need. I can't find. That's typical. I can't find the hole.
pretty much in the right place and yep a nice little click and it's there and we've got L2 That's what I say, what a superb fit. And you know what? It is. What a superb fit. There again, it's only to be expected, the entire build has been excellent. Not on my part, obviously, but the kit. There. L4, 5 and 24. That's the breach. So relaxing and so therapeutic, I think, being able to sit down at a desk as long as everything's going well in the build, of course. If you're having a nightmare build, then obviously it's not so good. bit of a stop there um, the other day guys I, I started doing a video build and the battery on the camcorder ran out which has done many times before I thought I had another one charged up ready to go but I didn't so obviously had to wait so what I will do is I'm going to attach that video onto the end of this one when I stop this Gone. There it is. 
Damn, someone's got a bad cough. Oh dear. Don't like the sound of that. Too much. Going off. Yes. So bothered about the underside, but <sighs> might as well do it. Started raining again. If obviously if it gets too loud, then I'll have to stop the build, stop the video, because it's a pain in the bum. I'm sure you don't want to hear rain beating down on a tin roof. Metal roof, whatever you want to call it. The open close, open close breech handle. We've got L3. It is hammering down, guys. You'll probably be able to hear it already. in there weather
very thin piece, very small piece has just snapped on me. Uh, snapped, it was already snapped on the sprue, but. Don't you, don't you just hate it when that happens? Now we'll try and attach it and clean it and fix it. Many of you might be able to fabricate something like it. I'm not that clever unfortunately. So it's gonna be into that as you can see the little part there is broken off so hopefully I'm going to be able to fit it on there Seems to have stopped raining again. So it seems like I can stay out and do a bit more. There we go, that's that bit fixed. Thank goodness for that. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Which is the breech block. It goes in there like so. Lovely jubbly. L twenty. 21 and 27 27 only because I found it first Prime candidate for the carpet monster, that bit. And number 21. Yep, 20. Have to 
take a little bit of burr off with a knife. Have a look who's at the front door. Postman. No problem. Right. So. We have this little tiny piece. Actually, let's put that part on first, shall we? This bit goes on the end. There. That's good, that fits nicely. on the side of there and into there I believe So difficult to know where to hold things. There you go. Goes on there. Sorry, guys, for oh, probably doing that out of shot, but that was so fiddly. And then that will attach.
kind of looks straight. So I'll put some glue around the outside of that as well, that join. Right, then we want L6 and 12. Come on a little bit off first. We don't need that anyway. came up with these designs for these things wow what a brain not only the model kits but the real ones in the first place amazing design amazing engineering but as we all know, over engineered really from the uh, obvious research and things by people over the last 70, 80 years. Sorry guys, let's keep going out of shot. I think it's my fault. That's all. But then most things are. I don't know if I can put that underneath there. If it goes underneath, if it's meant to go underneath, if it's meant to go on the top. There's only one very, very tiny little tab place, and it doesn't seem right to me. To I think it's sat out too much. I might need to move that lever. I think if I can do it without breaking it. Here we go. That's better. Almost looks like a gun, even now. Or starting to. And that piece goes.
There we go. It goes on there like that. Amazing detail on it, isn't it, really? Absolutely awesome. Then it says we need to make a machine gun up. L eight and thirty six. I'm not going to do obviously guys this video is this part of the build is taking quite a while so I'm not going to do too much on it really I'm going to cut it at some point so I don't want to bore anybody too much don't want people unsubscribing through boredom Not the not the fastest of builders. I do take my time, or I try to. Normally, when I go too far, I do too much. I end up messing up. So. I try not to. But then there's the others from the flip side of the coin if you like when uh, I haven't been able to get out in the shed for a while I do want to do loads. But also got to keep the videos to a certain length really. Like I said, don't want to be going too long and too boring. But I do want to get it built as well. I want to get it finished. But I do want to try and show you absolutely everything. That I do. where the build's concerned. We've got L33 and 34. Another bit broken. So obviously not part of the plan, to say the least. Some of these really fine spindly bits, they've got so many attachment points. Right. 
Not best pleased, not best pleased. I'll try and find out what's what and how it goes now. <laughs> precarious trying to fit this part so it should be like Those are there. Let's see. That minute piece there goes in there like that. See how that's gonna go, to be honest. lift that out like that. <sighs> so 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 tiny so very tiny
and then you've got the little part there which goes on the back end of there and under there Nearly, nearly, nearly at it. Nearly, nearly, nearly gonna have it. Get it there, and the glue's dried. There we go. Super. I'm leaving that there to dry up a little bit. While we cut this up. See, look at this, guys. Look. You've got the attachment point there, but then you've also got another bit coming off of there. I can understand because you've got a small, thin bit in there, but join it here. Like this one. That one's got a small joint bit there as well. This doesn't make sense. Too many. Lovely, lovely kit. Lovely, lovely build. Just should, could be done. Slightly different and make things slightly easier, especially on the smaller bits. I don't know if that's meant to be flat. Or not. I would say it is. Just shows it wasn't so I'll form another bit on there It's a little tiny bit bigger, but hey ho, my mistake, I've got to live with it. No one else has, it's not going to any shows or anything, so it's not as if I'm that good. 
this is worth sh showing off. Excuse me. What a lovely fit. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Excellent fit. Sixteen and thirty eight. So again, look, two attachment points on both sides. I don't think there's any need. I know, I know, it's just moan, me having a moan. I just don't see the need for it, that's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to just tweak that bit off the end there with a knife. As I say at the end, at the beginning of all the videos, guys, it, your support is very much appreciated, and I really do mean that. I really, 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 from the bottom of my heart, I really do mean it. It's so much appreciated. It's unreal. Thank you. Here on this part there's just a little tiny tab with a little tiny hole for it to go in. But it does go in really nicely. Just get a bit of extra support there. Machine gun support goes there. I'll put this on now to try and get it set up. And let it glue and let the glue dry properly before I try and put the machine gun on there. It'll probably prove to be the wrong thing to do. And I'll probably break bits off, but it's a risk I'm willing to take.
and then guys once the machine guns on I'm going to leave it there I think because I think the video has been going on quite a while now and um, I think you'll get bored so uh, yeah I'm gonna once I've got this machine gun piece on I'm gonna leave it at that for now and I'll see you in the next video figure out where this goes now how it goes I know. I know now. I think I know. And there we go guys, machine guns on, it's all nice and straight, and the breech block and everything's all done. So there we go, thank you very much for watching, and liking, and please comment, I'm sure there'll be lots of things to not like in the video, so even if you feel like that's the case let me know and then I can make them better for the next time hopefully thank you very much and I will see you in the next one bye for now